in this video we're going to be setting up a simple health system so just for right now we're going to be setting it up to work and function similar to how our food and water does however our health is not going to degenerate or uh, decrement so what we're doing in this video specifically we're going to be creating a health or a med kit just like as you're seeing here this is just a mesh it's not an actor or anything and expanding our pickup class to support well adding and in increasing our health so for example if you press E on a med kit and your health is at 50 your health will go up by X amount on the server so we're gonna be just doing that and in a later video we're gonna go on to setting up a function to take damage and all that kind of stuff so we can for example for shop another player will take a specific amount of damage depending on how what hell happened or if we walk into fire, we'll take a different type of damage and that kind of thing. So, oh, also we're going to be actually fixing a few little bugs. Well, not really bugs, but improvements that should really be made to our code. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the mesh off of here. And we will discuss the first thing that we're going to change. So first off, if I hit play, you'll see here at the bottom, these two lines, set replicates, called on actor and then it's showing our food and our water now this is because if you see here our set replicates is in our begin play now this is fine but this is running on both the server and the client so we're setting replicates technically on the client as well which should only be performed while on the server which is why that little error was well warning was coming up so what we can do to fix this is do if role equals role authority then we will so meaning if we're the server then we will set replicates to true that way the client will not be doing this at all so if we hit play again you can see that that log is now gone another thing that can be changed up since I kind of goofed a little bit, since this is it's already being replicated to all the clients, all it needs to do is be destroyed on the server. It does not need to be multicasted. So if I change our cast to our multicast function, that destroys our actor. If I just do destroy instead, which is happening on the server, the exact same result will happen. So let's go ahead and pick one of these up. I can hit it. I'm hitting right. There we go. As you can see, the actor is no longer there. So we can go ahead and get rid of our multicast functions. Alright, like so. And now if we head over to our player stack component. So if we look at our timers here. So this is in begin play so it's going to be running on the client and the server meaning our client and our server is having these timers being ran now if you look at our handle hunger and thirst function no code is being run on the client it's doing the authority check to make sure that we are the server and then it runs everything that we need so there's nothing to be run on the server I mean on the client meaning we don't want this timer to be running on the client if nothing's happening. Same thing with regenerate stamina if we scroll down to the function. The only code that's there is being run on the server. So we can do the exact same thing here. So we can do if role or get owner role equals role authority. Then we will use the timers or start the timers okay. now if we hit play the timers will not be running on the client but you can see everything is decrementing just like it was before and another issue if you see here our stamina is going down now I'm still holding shift but I stopped moving. You can see the stamina is still going down 
even though while I'm not running. So we're going to fix that as well real quick. One thing we can do is in our, if we look over here in our character where we have it set up, here's our start sprinting, alright here's our handle sprinting that gets called with the timer. So what it is is it's checking if we're sprinting, if that is the case then we simply lower stamina. However, we want this to, like this is only while we're holding shift, but instead of, like if we're not moving and we are um, running, I mean if we're not moving we don't want this to happen. So we can simply do another check in here. So we can do if we are sprinting, well our shift key is being held, and our velocity is greater than zero. So we're going to do this, referring to our character, get velocity dot size. Now get velocity returns an F vector and size essentially gets the size of that vector. So let's start sprinting and stop moving while holding shift. As you can see, it does not lower. You can also do another check in here. So for example, I start sprinting, and I jump. The stamina went down while I was in the air. That's because we are moving, so if we really wanted to, we could do a check for is falling. But I don't really see a point in doing that. So let's see, I think that's pretty much everything for right now in the fixing area. Let's go ahead and make our medkit. Now in the download you will have these three textures, a mesh, and it will automatically create a blank material for you. This will be in the description by the way, just like our food and water was. So if you want to set up your material, you simply open up the material Wait for these to load and you would map these out with the nodes just like so. So you would take these three textures, click and drag them up onto the material or into this little window here. Just like so. But just match up the nodes and you'll be good to go. Then compile and save. So now we can create another class for our pickups. So I'm just going to duplicate this one and call it BP underscore health. Let's open it up, change the mesh to the medkit, compile and save. I'm just going to leave it open. It is change rate, yeah. Okay. But if you see here for the pickup type, well, it should say food and water here, but I know it's a little bugged right now. We only have, we would only have food and water. So pickup type. Why is it only showing water? Alright, this one's showing it. So food and water and you're bugged again. Uh, hang on. Let me relaunch Unreal Engine. Ready? Our food. So pick up type. There we go. Now I can change it. So we, as you can see, we only have food and water. And that goes for our health here. So we want to change th that option to health. So we need to add another option to our enums called health. So we're going to do e food u meta display name equals food health, duh. Then simply build it just to make sure we're good. And why did I call it eFood again? eHealth, then build it. And we have a feeling we probably won't be able to see it just to make sure I'm going to reload that. Yep, just water and food. So restarting Unreal Engine one more time. 
and it will appear. Alright, so our BP health. Water. We're changing that to health. Compile and save. So now let's actually place out a couple of these. Got to rotate it. Yeah, just make four. So I want this to print out a log. We're going to do a check in here in pickups. We're going to add another one for else if pickup type equals e pickup type e health. And in here we're going to print out a log. I'm just going to do adding health. and build it. Oops. So let's just make sure everything's running. It'd probably be better to, depending on how much more we do to change this out to a switch statement. Oops. Alright, so now when I pick up a health, it should print health. Yep, adding health. So we are good to go there. Now we can actually set up our health on our stack component. So if we scroll up here, which I actually already have health set up, I recorded this previously, but apparently I hit the stop recording button about a minute and a half into it, so it never actually recorded. But anyways, just create a simple variable called health, make sure it's replicated, just like so. Then we move over to our player stack component and our get lifetime replicated props we're going to replicate our health variable. And then we're going to go and add, well, two functions, add health and get health. So let's go ahead and create those definitions. So add health being at the very bottom, where our add thirst is, void u player stat component, add health, float value. And I'm just going to copy the contents of add thirst because it's the exact same. So just change thirst to health. Then the other one was get health. So find our functions that return it. And float u player stat component get health. Return health. And semicolon. Alright, now in our pickups again, we can go player, player stat component, add health. Inc by the increase amount, which we will probably end up changing later on. Also, I want to s actually set our health up here in our stat component. So health by default is going to be... Um, Let's just set it to 30. Alrighty. Now let's go ahead and hit play. And I forgot I have no way of showing it right now. So let's go back to our survival character.cpp and scroll to the bottom where we have our return player stats function. Here we're going to add a section for our health. Player stat component get health. And then as usual, we need to recompile our little widget, our temp HUD. So compile, save, and when we hit play, we should see health. Yep, so health is 30. So if I pick up this thing, it goes 60, 90, and 100. So 100 is where it maxes out at, which is what we want. Alright, so 
our little med kit and our basic health is set up. Let's go ahead and do a quick test on a server. If I can even close these in time, nope. Uh, is it gonna load? Guess not. Yeah, it's a server. Let's try it again. All right, I'm just getting black screens. Let's shut all this down. Oh, that's why it's also locked. All right, host dedicated server. Join with client. Now it should load. Unless I royally broke something. Nope, there we go. Alright, there's our health, and it's set to 30. Just close these windows. Open up Cheat Engine. Go ahead and select that client. So we know our health was 30. So let's just go ahead and do a quick scan. And we will join with one more client. And his health is 30. And these objects are not appearing for him. Oh, I never saved the level, that's why. Let's shut down the server. Save current. Do a file save, just make sure. Now nah, we would be good. Yep, there's our health bars, or med kits. Let's do the same thing with Cheat Engine. Scan for 30. Now we can go over here to join with one more client. Alright, client 1. And where is Cheat Engine? Alright, so health is 30. Now it's 60. Scan for 60. And change it to 100. So you can see our health is now 100. But if I were to, let's say, take damage or pick up another thing of medkits, my health goes to 90. Which is, so 60, 70, 80, 90. Because I think I'm running at 30. So you can't really cheat your health. And let's just make sure. The other client sees that the objects are gone, which it in fact does. Okay, so, and everything is now gone. Nothing's here for us to select at all. So, yeah, you can see how that all works. So let's do a quick little overview of what we've done. So, in the pickups class, when we pick up a medkit that has the enum of the type health, all we do is call a function called add health on our actor. So, this is also, just to be clear, it will only run on the server, which it's being also called by the server. So, it's going to run add health, which does another check make sure since this is a component and its owner is an actor we do get owner role which is essentially the same as doing get role like or role on the client or on the actor we check and make sure that's the authority meaning it's more on the server and if we are we will simply add health to our player and because it's replicated and getting modified on the server then that means our client will receive that change so this is kind of the basis that we're going to do in the next video where we actually take set up our ability to take damage and we're probably going to set up like a i don't know probably just set it so when you press e on a character he takes damage we'll do that as a placeholder as a, for a weapon until we end up adding that into our game so that's our simple health, and I will see you in the next one.